It was reported yesterday that the coronavirus known as COVID-19 has mutated into virtually thousands of different forms. Now, that's proof positive that this virus was created as a bioweapon, obviously intended to keep mutating, to continue on and on and on. This virus is not going away anytime soon, but no mista- let there be no mistake about that. Uh, it's going to take a year to get a vaccine, and then you're going to have different forms that are out there. Yet at the same time that the United States and the rest of the world is being destroyed, and I continue to hear from people all over the world that want to join and do something similar to our class action in Dallas, Texas, already we have filed one in Jerusalem, Israel. There'll be others in other uh, countries of the world, as well as our International Criminal Court complaint, which is moving forward. At the same time that that happens, what is the U.S. Justice Department doing? Nothing. Not a zip. Run by William Barr, he made some half-wit statement yesterday that he would perhaps support cases that were brought against governors for excessive stay-at-home orders. In other words, the Justice Department is not going to step in and file anything itself. It just may support what private citizens do in that regard. You know, very courageous on the part of Attorney General Bill Barr. This guy is as worthless as Jeff Sessions. At the same time, one of the states, Michigan, that's run by a crazy out-of-control governor that thinks she's Mussolini, they did file apparently a lawsuit against China, but our own Justice Department isn't doing anything. It's not like our class action lawsuit in Dallas. It doesn't replace it. It's just dealing with Michigan. We're dealing with the entire country and the world and what we're doing, and we need your support. But it tells you where this country is going, is that the people that are in charge are in fact not in charge. They don't have a plan. I don't even think President Trump has a real plan because we don't know exactly what's going on with regard to these stay-at-home orders, the threats of being arrested, the attorney general's not being instructed to intervene directly himself on behalf of the U.S. Justice Department. But instead, it's all kind of like a Hail Mary. It's out there. No one knows. But the reality is this country is not going back to work in a month. No way. With the virus mutating into thousands of different forms, that's not going to happen. So, again, I tell you, if you want the truth, you have to go to Radio America. You have to go to Larry Klayman, this podcast, and others who are willing to tell it straight. And you can't be going to the cable news networks like Fox. I mean, they had an article yesterday talking about class actions. Of course, they don't mention all the cases that we brought because I've had issues with Fox Over the years, I've had to sue them for Laurie Loon, a woman who was sexually abused, harassed, and raped by Roger Ailes. It was covered up by the current CEO of Fox, Suzanne Scott, who actually was Ailes' enabler. She actually got hotel rooms so Ailes could work his dirty work on Laurie, who's tried to commit suicide twice and still has thoughts of suicide. This is a despicable network. They're not honest. It's not all the news that's fit to print. And I know I keep working on them each day, but you need to understand something fellow patriots and supporters. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Okay, Think for yourself. Get up off the couch, as I say. Put the martinis, the beer and wine down, the popcorn, the cheese and crackers, and get to work. And join Freedom Watch. I tell it to you straight. This government is corrupt to the core. The cable networks are corrupt to the core. The only people that are out there that will support you are yourselves and God. God behind you. So please go to freedomwatchusa.org. Do something proactive. Don't be a sunshine patriot or a summer soldier. Actually do something and join our class action lawsuits and support the criminal case that we brought against Chinese communist officials, including the president in the International Criminal Court. At the same time that China is destroying this nation and the world, it's building up its military in the South China Sea and harassing its neighbors. This is a vile evil regime that pretends that it's not. And we need to now take care of business peacefully and legally, not the way they do it, peacefully and legally. So go to freedomwatchusa.org, support our class actions, join our class actions, support our criminal cases against the communist Chinese, make them pay for what they have done. Because frankly, you're not going to get it here in the United States. You're not even going to get it from President Trump. Sorry, President. I love you in many respects. 
but you control the Justice Department. What is it the bar is doing? Nothing. So therefore, share this podcast. You can find it at freedomwatchusa.org, on Spotify, on iTunes, on Facebook, on Twitter, and support our cause. Go to freedomwatchusa.org. Be part of a solution, not part of the problem. God bless you. God bless America. Stay safe, you and your families. And I'll be back tomorrow with another edition of Special Prosecutor with Larry Klayman, the special podcast. And of course, on the weekends, you can hear our radio show also on Radio America, and you can find that at freedomwatchusa.org as well. Until then, thank you for listening to me.